Hi and welcome to a midweek edition of Mixed Looper's Vlogs. This week's going to be political. The reason for this is that in the media it seems to be a batting game between the Conservatives and the Labour Party and then they throw UKIP in there which essentially is just more Tories with a different name and a little less morals and they just throw that in you know, to add to the mix. The actual party that has any morals whatsoever seem to be the Green Party and what little mention they are getting I think they're just throwing that in for the fun of it. Essentially in the UK we have a two party system. People say we don't but we do. We have a two party system pretty much the same as the US. Um, it's either Labour or Conservatives and essentially they get in every year one or the other. Both of them spending absolutely tons of money on advertising and keeping themselves in the media. Uh, obviously the media moguls are uh, pulling the strings for a lot of them so they're giving them free advertising. You've probably noticed if you're in the UK that most of the YouTube videos that you're actually watching will have an advert on the front for the Conservative Party with the occasional advert for the Labour Party. Now a big celebrity has recently come out, Russell Brand. He previously has been anti-voting. Don't vote, the system's corrupt. The system is corrupt. You probably shouldn't vote unless you vote for someone like the Green Party or an independent reality party, something like that. They're not different enough. They're not doing enough. I ain't prepared to turn up and vote like an obedient little prisoner just so like, oh, they went a little bit left, they went a little bit right. Do the okie koki. It's not good enough. We deserve better. We are, look, we are creatures on a planet. We are mammals. Look at the faces of the people that we're being asked to vote for as leaders. Look at them. Look at them, feel it in your hearts. That ain't who's meant to be leading us. That ain't what David Cameron, them other mugs. It ain't meant to be them, it's been a mistake. They're meant to do the admin. They're meant to do the admin. Let them do that shit. Don't let them come up with the ideas because they're selfish. They've only known privilege. They don't know what it's like. They don't know what it's like to suffer. He switched. All of a sudden, it's an emergency. Everyone has to vote Labour. Why? We have to confront the people that are tearing apart London and socially cleansing it. What I heard Ed Miliband say is if we speak, he will listen. So on that basis, I think we've got no choice but to take decisive action to end the danger of the Conservative Party. David Cameron might think I'm a joke, but I don't think there's anything funny about what the Conservative Party have been doing to this country, and we have to stop them. So my view is this. If you're Scottish, you don't need an English person telling you what to do. You know what you're going to be doing. If you're in Brighton, I think it will be a travesty if we lost the voice of Caroline Lucas in Westminster. But anywhere else, you've got to vote Labour. You've got to get the Conservative Party out of government in this country so that we can begin community-led activism, so that we can be heard continually. So on housing, on poverty, inequality, on working, on all of these things for the most vulnerable, for the most powerful, so that we have a voice and that we can build a society. Here in Manchester we have a Labour Council. In my local area we have a Labour MP. We get our bins emptied once every three weeks, which is ridiculous. And no matter what you say, they will not change that policy. And it's only a policy because someone made a deal for a very long contract where we pay an extra absolute fortune. And of course they won't back down on the deal. And at the same time, we're getting stuffed for it. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's part of it. The other part is, I live in Manchester and we have a Manchester Town Hall. Uh, outside the Town Hall, homeless people, a homeless camp, um, decided to camp out, protest in a public space. And it is your right to protest in a public space. Everyone's right to protest in a public space. And the uh, council turned around and had them evicted. Where are you going to evict homeless people to? That's right, another street. So, before the eviction order came through, they moved around the corner to St Peter's Square and they've sent another eviction order to get them out from there as well. They've also had the police tell G4S security, which are the security for the uh, library, not to let the homeless camp users inside the property, which includes using the public restrooms and the public resources, which is, you know, books, computers, the internet, media, social media, in order to basically sweep them under the carpet when they could actually home them. 
Now they've said we've tried we've tried negotiating with them. No, you invited them to come to a meeting to which they would have had to have left the camp to come to the meeting. And then you wouldn't have let them go back to the camp. You've also had a few people have actually mentioned that they've been offered temporary placements. Now, to get a temporary placement, it basically means they've got room, which isn't that secure, it's probably shared with other people, overnight. With no guarantee of a second night, a third night, or so on. So they're back out on the streets again. Which basically means they're away from the homeless camp, and back on the streets. And out of the way, under the carpet. We have a Tory government. We have a Labour council. We have Labour councillors. And then there's things like this happening. And everyone's like, oh, vote Labour. And Russell Brand's there going, vote Labour. Bollocks. I ain't prepared to turn up and vote like an obedient little prisoner. You've got to vote Labour. You've got to vote Labour. You've got to vote Labour. If he actually voted with any morals, he'd vote Green or Independent, just like I will. And then there's the policies. Labour are pro fracking. Ed Miliband himself agreed to fracking and was pro fracking and yet he doesn't actually know his own policy on fracking. Tuition fees. Oh yeah, that's right, tuition fees. Labour have said we will drop tuition fees, we will reduce tu tuition fees. Labour introduced tuition fees. Then the Conservatives came along and increased tuition fees. And now Labour is saying, but we'll reduce tuition fees. Not to what it was, but we'll reduce tuition fees. So that's got to be a good thing, surely. If I came round to your house and robbed you, year on year, and then I got my mate to come in and say, you know what, I'm going to be off for a little while. You rob them. And they came along and they robbed you for more. And they robbed you for like 10 times the amount or whatever it is. And then I came back and I was like, Right, I'll take back over now. And then year after year, I decide to rob you. More than I was doing originally, but less than I am doing now. Would I be a hero? No, I'd still be a villain, because that's what the political parties are. They're robbing you. They're robbing you blind, and you're letting them do it. And you're voting for them. And you're consenting to them governing you and allowing you to be robbed. When they should be helping you. Do you not see the problem there? Vote for whoever you feel morally right voting for. I don't care who you vote for, you can vote Labour if you, you know, if your morals are that way. You can vote Conservative if your morals are that way. Vote Green if you've got morals. Vote Independent. Vote for the Reality Party. It's up to you. Vote for who you want. The system is corrupt. And it can be fixed from the inside, possibly. So just vote for the people that, you know, it feels right. Not the, oh, I'm going to tactically vote because I don't want them getting in. When in reality, them is both parties. It's Labour. It's Conservatives. They're all the same. And then you get big celebrities like Russell Brand who suddenly turn around and go back on everything they've said. Don't vote, don't vote. System's corrupt, system's corrupt. Don't vote, don't vote. Vote Labour, it's an emergency. Ooh, vote, vote, vote. Lost respect there. I can kind of understand what he's doing. Some of the policies on paper look okay. But we've had it before. And they've lied before. And it's all disappeared before. And then the Conservatives carry on doing the same thing that the Labour have done. Because they're the same. They're all the same. Vote for what you feel is morally right. This has been another Mixed Leapers Vlogs. And uh, thanks for watching. This has been a political edition.